Think you know a lot about music? Here's 23 random music facts that'll blow your mind. Aerosmith's I Don't Wanna Miss a Thing was originally written for Celine Dion. Madonna's Like a Virgin is actually about a guy getting over a breakup. Sorry, Mr. Brown. Summer of 69 is about the sexual position. Sarah McLaughlin's Angel is about heroin addiction. Semisonic's Closing Time is not about Last Call, but rather the birth of the lead singer's daughter. The Goo Goo Dolls' Slide is about abortion. A Boy Named Sue was not written by Johnny Cash, but rather Shel Silverstein. She wrote a boy named Sue. Among other Getting Jiggy With It was written by Nas. Nothing Compares to You and Manic Monday were both written by Prince. CeeLo's Forget You was written by Bruno Mars. And Justin Timberlake's Rock Your Body was written by Pharrell from Michael Jackson's final album. Alanis Morissette's You Oughta Know is supposedly about Full House's Dave Coulier. Gwen Stefani's Holla Back Girl is a response to Courtney Love's slam of Gwen in Seventeen Magazine. Okay, now pay attention. Britney's Toxic was originally written for Kylie Minogue. And Slave for You was originally written for Janet Jackson. TLC passed on Baby One More Time, while Britney herself passed on Lady Gaga's Telephone and Rihanna's Umbrella. Meanwhile, Rihanna passed on Miley's We Can't Stop, but recorded Disturbia instead of Chris Brown. Did you get all that? Pink and Hilary Duff both turned down Kelly Clarkson's Since You've Been Gone. Shania Twain and Faith Hill both turned down Beyonce's Irreplaceable. Michael Jackson's Bad was originally supposed to be a duet with Prince. And finally, Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds is not about LSD. This is the truth. My son came home with a drawing and said, showed me this strange-looking woman flying around. I said, what is it? He said, it's Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. And I thought, that's beautiful. I immediately wrote a song about it. Check the description for sources and let us know your favorite music fact.